Hey you guys, I hope you're having a great day today. Um, so I'm here in my cat's room filming this. Yes, my cats have a room. I am not single, I am married, but I don't have kids. So I guess that's criteria for crazy cat lady. Um, but anyways, so I wanted to talk about MAP. I don't know if you guys have heard this term before, but it has been coming out over the past year, and it's actually a term that has been around for several years now, maybe even longer than that. Um, but we've been seeing it a lot more in the news lately, and it's called uh, Minor Attracted Person, MAP. And a lot of professionals are coming out and saying, well, we need to... Oh. It just fed my cat, and there he goes to eat his food. Okay, so um, the MAP, Minor Attracted Person, is supposed to um, replace pedophile. A lot of professionals are saying that it sounds nicer, it's just more sensitive. We live in such a <laughs> offensive culture nowadays um, that we have to start changing terms to please people. and. And you know, what it really is, is just calling evil good. Um, it's trying to normalize something that should not be normal, okay? It is not normal for someone to be sexually attracted to a child. That is a crime, that is sin, that is disgusting. And it's evil, so um, we wanna call it out for what it is, right? And so we are being socially conditioned over time to start accepting these things. So I think that over time, we're going to start seeing MAP being used a lot more than pedophile, um, which is very sad um, because this isn't someone that was just born with this attraction, right? This is evil, okay? It is, that's what it is. So I wanted to read some scriptures to you guys um, that just points uh, to, you know, how it's going to be in the end times. Um, that we are really are living in the end times because we see this. Uh, we see the, the MAP, we see the LGBTQ+, um, we see uh, a lot of crime, a lot of hate crimes, um, a lot of uh, families torn apart. And so anyways, without further ado, let me start with Isaiah 5.20. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And then in 2 Timothy 3, starting in verse 1, it says, But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power, avoid such people. And then further down in verse 12, it says, Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, while evil people and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. Um, also, Matthew 24, 12, I'm just going to paraphrase this, says that lawlessness will be increased and the love of many will grow cold. So we see this happening in so many different aspects um, aspects in this world, you know, and this is just one little thing out of so many. But um, this, I wanted to do a video about it just because it really does hit me so hard, um, you know, being a, a sexual assault nurse examiner and seeing this every day at my, at my job, um, I can't believe, you know, they're trying to normalize this. I can believe it and I can't believe it. I can believe it because of the times we live in and the Bible tells us this stuff is going to happen. But on the other hand, I just can't believe it because it's just disgusting. You know, like how much is the church going to see before the rapture? How much are we going to have to endure? How much persecution? So as we know, it's going to get worse. Um, so I expect this to get a lot worse. Sorry y'all, I like stopped my video for a second because I got a few calls from work, <laughs> go figure. Um, but back at it. So anyways, I was just saying that, you know, I'm, I'm disgusted by this, um, but on the other hand, it's not a huge surprise that things are getting worse in the times that we are living in because we know we are living in the final moments before the rapture. The Bible says this is gonna happen, so things like this are going to happen. Um, but a point I wanted to make about this as well is that um, kids know 
their perpetrators most of the time. So it's not some um, freak thing on the street where it's a random person who wants to take advantage of a child and just does it. Yes, those things do happen. Um, kids get kidnapped as well. However, um, most of these perpetrators know the child and have a relationship with the child prior to there being a sexual assault of any sort. So um, it could be a friend of the family, it could even be a family member, it could be someone that has a leadership position in that child's life. And so this also attacks the family unit, you know, it attacks our kids. Jesus, like during his ministry, he loved to have the kids come up and, and um, talk with him. And so, you know, even the disciples at one point were saying, you know, like, um, you know, don't let the kids do that. Like, go on, go on, shoo, you know. <laughs> and, um, but Jesus says, no, like, don't hinder them from coming to me because he just, he loves children. Um, and so this is such a disgusting thing to try to normalize something like this, to try to say, well, these people are just happen to be attracted to kids sexually. Um, and that, you know, that's just how they are. And so that is wrong on so many levels and we really need to call it out for what it is. Um, so anyways, you guys, I just want to see what your comments are about this. I'm curious to know if you've heard of this before or if this is the first time you're hearing of this. Um, but anyways, I hope to see you guys in the clouds very soon. It looks like it's going to be very, very soon. I hope it is. Um, that the rapture comes quick. It cannot come quick enough, you guys, but God's timing is perfect. So I hope to see you guys in the clouds, and it is a great day to be raptured.